Hey, this is Chad, TacklingExpress.com, and I just wanted to go over some new products that we got in the shop. Uh, some of them are really cool, just wanted to share them with you. And what I mean by cool is Cool Baits. Uh, cool Baits is a local Southern California company. They are like two dudes that make it out of their little warehouse or their garage or something like that, but they do a really nice job and they have a really nice bait. Um, it's an underspin, it has a wire keeper on it that sticks out the top of the hook shank as well as a blade on the bottom. And the blade on the bottom has a very nice uh, swivel on there, and that swivel is at an angle. And what that does is at slow speeds, that's, that blade will still spin uh, because it's at that angle. It gives it a nicer presentation, kind of tucks it up a little bit instead of dropping down. So and that's made by Cool Baits that go, and the package ones, they go from eight to one ounce. They have several different colors. But then they started making these giant ones. Look at that thing. That thing's giant. But how cool would that be? Like if you were fishing really deep in a lake uh, with a big swim bait on there, you could fish that, or you could fish it in the salt water for lingcod, rockfish, halibut, things of that nature. But I'm sure there's lots of lots of ways that you could that you can figure out how to fish this at your at your body of water. But it has a really nice swivel on there, nice blade, two wires to hold your bait on, and a really stout hook. This is the eight inch version. And then they went to a 14 and a half inch version. Look at that thing. That thing's, I, that thing's awesome. It's giant. I love it. Nice big eye. Got to be careful with that one. I'll break the glass. And that's by Cool Baits. Uh, this is Mega Bass. This is their Uwo's Swimmer. And it's another underspin. I see a little different kind. It has a 60 strand skirt on it. It also has hand tied wire keepers on it. Um, but the hand tied wire keepers are done with mono and one faces one direction and one faces the other direction. So it's really gonna hold on to your bait really well. Uh, it has a wire that attaches from the head down to the blade. So it deflects off of cover really well and also gives it a nice presentation uh, with a nice ball bearing swivel as well. So that's the Woe Swimmer. We've had customers at Castic Lake already doing extremely well with this and it seems to produce bigger fish than normal. So keep that in mind, really cool. Cool one, Uwo's Swimmer from Mega Bass. This is a local guy making drop shot weights. Uh, his name's Justin. Justin is very, very particular. Uh, he fishes all the local tournaments. He does really well, but he's just a very nice guy and very particular. It's Major League Weight Weights, MLW. And when I say he's particular, like when he gets the pinch points, if they're not perfect, if they don't, if they look like they're too wide or too narrow, he just chucks them. He doesn't mess around with them. And if the weight looks like it has some kind of imperfection on there, he chucks it. It's like, he just, well, he wants every single weight and every single pinch point to be perfect when you get these. So you're not frustrated when you get out there. He fishes a lot. He knows what's good quality and he makes good quality. And that's Major League Weights, MLW, on our website at Tackle Express. This is the Decoy Vengeance Jig Heads. This is the Nail Bomb. I really like this because unlike other manufacturers, you can get the jig head size and the hook size different. So for instance, like I'm looking on the back of the package here, so that you can get a, a 0.9 gram in a two, size two or size one hook. You can get a 1.8 gram in a size two, one or one aught hook, a 2.5 gram in all sizes, two, one and one aught, and then 3.5 grams in the one and one aught. So you can really tailor these jig heads to the bait you're using, the presentation that you're, you're uh, giving the fish and to the depth that you're fishing at. So uh, no other manufacturer that I know of makes that, uh, that kind of uh, universality. So check those out, check those out. That's the nail bomb from uh, Decoy. Uh, Ned rigging has been extremely popular. We've done extremely well at Cast Egg, uh, Lake on it, Pyramid Lake, uh, which are two local lakes here in Southern California. But the, most of them are made out of lead. And all of them, I think, are made out of lead. But this one's not. This is by Rains, and it's the NR jig head. It's a tungsten jig head, so you can get a smaller profile jig head uh, and still get the same amount of weight. Plus, it transfers energy better because it's a harder material. When you're on rock or sand or gravel or whatever material you're fishing on, it'll transfer that. So when you transfer from one material to another, if you went from sand to gravel, you would be able to tell the difference because this is going to transfer that energy back to your rod better because it's a harder material. So that's the NR jig head from Rains. Uh, this is California Reservoir Lures, Johnny C's. Uh, I just really like his jigs. We've had them for a while. Uh, we just got them back in stock, so I thought I'd kind of highlight them again. Uh, they sell pretty quick. 
but they're all hand tied jigs. He has some really interesting colors. This is one of my favorites. This is SoCal Sculpin. Um, it's just a really well made jig, 60 strand skirts, hand tied. There's a nice jig head. Um, but then the weed guard isn't like, you know, super big weed guards. I, you know, I, we just don't need that here. Maybe other places you do, but it's the right amount. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. Uh, it's just a very well made jig and it catches a lot of fish. So that's Johnny C's, that's the California Reservoir Lures um, hand tied jigs. And then the last thing is Mustad. Uh, we just got a whole bunch of Mustad pliers in there, some new stuff that came out. And this is really cool. This is my favorite one. It's the seven and a half inch heavy duty uh, pliers from Mustad. It comes with a sheath, but these things are stout. I mean, the nose on these is so wide and, and like it won't bend. Like so many times I get aluminum pliers, if these are aluminum pliers, they have steel uh, jaws in it. They're stainless steel jaws, but you get aluminum pliers, even with stainless steel jaws in them and you go to wrench a hook out of a fish and it just bends and they go like this. You get, you know, it's like, what am I gonna do with that? So these will not do that. I've already been using them. I've been catching halibut at the beach on them and they do not, I mean, I can just see wrenching on tuna, Big, big fish, big hooks, and not having that bend out. I just don't see it. It's super strong, super stout. They have like this ergonomic grip to them. They're anodized black, uh, and they're all aluminum with the exception of the, the nose and the cutters or tungsten carbide. I cut braid with this, no problem. I mean, it just goes through like butter um, and mono and floral, of course, uh, as well. But those are the heavy duty must add pliers, seven and a half inch. Strongly recommend They're a little spendy at like 80 bucks, but I think well worth it. These will last you a lifetime. Thanks for stopping by Tackle Express. Visit us at tackleexpress.com and subscribe to our channel and like this video. We'll be doing more and I'll put links uh, down below to all of these products on our website. Thanks for stopping by.